All right, so we have 10 secret locations in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Everybody missed. Let's go right to the video. I said everybody, everyone missed. Do you know what I mean? Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at 10 What's secret up, Johnny? How locations you doing? in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Okay. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. If you're not much of a side quester, we'll be going over all the yeah, locations that's me. <laughs> in Tears of the Kingdom that you may have I'm not missed. really much of a side Did quester. Did you happen to come across any of these secret locations? Let us Here know comes in the comments the sign. below. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long. So be sure to subscribe and ring the bell like to get song. notified about our latest videos. All right, let's, uh, let's go. Gerudo Prison. Gerudo Prison. What is this? Oh, is that the prison that's guarded? Uh, and they got like the women as like guards and stuff like that. Is that it? As we all know, the Gerudo don't take too kindly to outsider Vo, and this poor fellow is no exception. Whilst exploring the underground Gerudo, they don't like men, shelter, right? You'll come across Wobbin, who has been locked behind bars in their prison and who has been separated from his family. I thought this was like. Bro, you, you don't know who I am. For those of you who are looking to serve time and join him in this locked off location, all you have to do is get Link to remove all of his clothes or put on the Yiga Clan outfit. He'll be caught instantly by the Gerudo and thrown in prison alongside Wobbin. There's also a small cave by the cantina hidden but by like, some I heard like, you can ascend into the jail cell. But this I heard there's like some women that don't like all Ooh. men, whatever. They don't like like men to be like in their thing or whatever. I don't know. Fake Zelda. The Yiga clan are no strangers to wearing disguises in order to catch Link off guard, but this instance may be a bit below the belt for our Yeah, but why is Zelda hanging out know, here? Link is traveling all over Hyrule in search for Zelda, who has mysteriously gone missing. And at first, Link appears to find her hidden in this spot under the cliffside. No, but why was she... <laughs> Unfortunately, this Zelda is a disguised Yiga Clan member Obviously. who will proceed to attack you. Funnily enough, if you wear the full Yiga Clan outfit, they'll get mad at you and tell you not to blow their cover. Mm. Shrine of Resurrection. What a menace! Trying to set the bo you trying to set Link up like that? That's crazy, bro. At the beginning of Breath of the Wild, like this is not the young goat, bro. Like he's not the young god, bro all before going on his epic journey. Tears of the Kingdom takes a different approach at the beginning, with Link and Zelda exploring the cavern under Hyrule Castle. But for players who remember this location, they'll be able to find it behind some branches. Inside, much of the original interior has been taken away. Players will be able to find a small pool of water, which will heal you if you go into it. As okay. you go further, you'll also discover a Yiga Clan base, which might explain why the interior is now so different. <laughs> I think that would make a good Rito Halloween costume, like the Yiga, like the Yiga Clan, like thing. That would make a good Halloween costume. Hoo hoo. Whilst trying to find the location of the Demon King Ganondorf, Link will undergo a series of quests where he'll have to dive into the depths to find the Yiga Clan leader, Master Koga. Each time, you'll traverse through the depths in order to find an abandoned mine, where you'll duke it out with him. However, okay. for the final showdown, you'll be told that to get to him, you'll have to enter the chasm near Rito Village. Okay. From high above, or even on a map, you'll be unable to see this chasm anywhere. And that's because it's sneakily hidden in a small cave sneakily. right on the side of Rito Village itself. So we're just hiding in Batman Royal caves now? Passageway. <laughs> at the beginning of the game, at the emergency shelter in Lookout Landing, Link will hear rumors of a secret passageway that the Hyrule royal family used to use. After I mean, it is a royal family, dungeon, so I, I would assume that they have different... In the wall that will lead you to the royal hidden passageway. Do they have, like, different Inside, passages the horned statue close to the entrance, which throughout their whole... throughout their kingdom, right? Stamina. That would be smart, right? However, if you venture further, you'll discover a massive cave with many twists and turns, with your reward being each piece of the soldier's armor set, which is an awesome high defense set early in the game. I would assume that every kingdom Pirate have hideout. like backup like passes and stuff like that just in case anything goes wrong. <sighs> like underground tunnels and stuff like that. 
When you arrive at the tropical Luralin Maybe I'm wrong. you'll find out that the villagers have all fled due to a pirate invasion, and it's up to you to defeat them. Okay. As it turns out, the pirates have made a base of operations on Eventide Island. And upon reaching this location, your equipment won't be taken away from you like in Breath of the Wild. Hmm. I need a witness. In order to find this hidden pirate, you'll have to go to the southeastern part of the island. After jumping off the cliff and slowly gliding down, you'll discover the hidden Eventide Island cave that harbors the pirates as well as a hidden shrine. Oh, so they all just hiding down here. One more time for I go. Lake Hylia Whirlpool. Okay. What a thing like a hurricane. We've been taught by video games over the years that you must absolutely avoid whirlpools at all costs, as they'll certainly lead you to your in-game death. Obviously. Or at least a loss of some health. Tears of the Kingdom, however, decided to go the completely opposite oh, that route. Looks so clean. And instead rewards you for jumping in. Really? Located in the massive Lake Hylia, if Link goes into the whirlpool along the Hylia Bridge, he'll soon find himself in a secret cave. Here, you'll be able to find and complete the Enoma Shrine. Temple of Time Ruins. Okay. As we discovered in Breath of the Wild, the Temple of Time ruins are eerily similar to the one seen in Ocarina of Time. Yeah. At the top of here would be our final encounter with the old man, who would reveal himself to be the King of Hyrule, giving you the paraglider all before bidding farewell. Aww. Uh. If you make the effort to return to this exact location in Tears of the Kingdom, you'll find a chest in the very same spot. Inside is the Nostalgic Fabric, which you can use at the Kochi Die Shop to obtain the very same paraglider pattern you used in Breath of the Wild. Oh, so it's kind of like a ticket. Okay. Kind of like a, like a little exchange Gerudo ticket. Secret Club. So, like, everybody's just hiding in caves now? That's, that's, that's just what I'm noticing. The Gerudo Secret Club is a clothing store in Gerudo Town that sells expensive armor for men, such as the Desert Bow Set. In Breath they got drip. Wild, okay. Link had to complete a side quest in order to figure out the secret password to get in. And if you got it wrong, you'd have to wait till the next day. In Tears of the Kingdom, however, the secret club appears to be completely locked with no way to get in whatsoever. To gain access to it, Link must travel underground via the waterfall well in the town. Bro, I gotta go underground just to get some clothes. Rocks. Are we serious? Once you're at this precise spot, then you'll you can just be go able through to use up, the yeah. ability to slip right into the store, where you can proceed to spend all of your rupees. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is not my time. Yeah. Link Fashion, and demon. Demon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. In Breath of the Wild, Link is able to purchase his very like my middle school teacher. Bolson during the Hylian homeowner side quest for a whopping. Honestly, y'all, when I was in middle school, like I had, I, like bro, I had the drip. I had like the whole crowd going like ooh and ah and stuff like that, bro. No, they used to call me the Fashion Demon. Either Link and Zelda are now living together, or she's kicked him out of his own home as she's completely redecorated the place. Behind the home, you'll find Zelda Zelda's kick me out? well, which not only has a chest containing Link's well-worn hairband, but a diary entry detailing where to get his new and improved champion's tunic. Oh. He just kicked it. <laughs> I, I actually like that. Thanks I like that watching. outfit. I can't lie. Oh, man. Comment down below. What do you guys think about this video? Um, To be honest, bro, listen. I say it, I, I've said this time and time again in, like, you know, different videos. And it really doesn't matter, you know, what type of game I'm covering. I will always say this. 2023 has been a really, really, really good year uh, of gaming in general. We had a lot of things drop by. For God's sakes, we had a Zelda game come through, bro. Um, so like if this doesn't complete my year, we also have Mortal Kombat coming through later this year. Um, and we have, oh, we have a, a Mario game dropping through this year. So we have so many different games coming through this year. I have full faith that we're going to end off on a bang. Uh, 2023 is definitely, um, I'll probably say one of the best gaming years. Obviously for me is already better than 2022. Even though 2022 had Elden Ring, God of War, um, yeah, 
I, I'll keep it real. Uh, yeah, 2023 absolutely goes crazy. Um, on 2022s, like just in in the gaming sense, okay, in the gaming sense. Um, but other than that, comment down below. What do you guys think about this video? Comment down below, bro. Like, how, give me a rating between one through ten whenever it comes to Zelda. Obviously, my rating, I'm gonna give it a nine as a new, you know, Zelda fan. Um, I was just amazed. First of all, my first Zelda game I ever played was um, Breath of the Wild. And then I went back to the Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I went back. I know I just did a crime. I'm not supposed to play the newer game or then play the older game. But listen, don't judge me. You don't have the right to judge me. Because at the end of the day, I bet you did the same thing to, a, to, a, to, another, to, to another game. So don't do that to me. Um, but <laughs> but uh, in all words, uh, yeah, man, Zelda. Listen, this year's Zelda game, absolutely fire, bro. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom uh they, they they did their best on that one uh, yeah uh, honestly honestly i'm looking at these games right here and you know and it's like this little um end game thing and i can't lie i can't wait to gta 6 drops overwatch 2 was it was oh, it was overwatch 2 um uh, <laughs> that's that's not a bad thing but also it's not really a high good thing like i, I still enjoy the game it's just I was always waiting for the PVE type thing, but maybe that's just me and like the story mode and stuff like that. But oh, that's actually you know what? I gotta give it the benefit of the doubt because at least it's coming through. The whole PvP, uh, I say PvP, the whole PVE and the story mode that's coming in August. So I respect them for even like you know dropping it by, but like that should have been Kane, bro. But you know what? Leave it. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out and.